Let's take a look at the pending state from use form status and is pending from use action state. Both booleans can help us determine if a form is being submitted and let us disable the submit button. But there's an interesting difference between them that is worth understanding. The pending state from use form status is specifically for form submissions. On the other hand, is pending from use action state can be used with any action, not just form submissions. Now, in our example here, you could actually use either one and get the job done. Pending from use form status in its own submit component or a regular button element with is pending from use action state. But here is how I think about choosing between them. Go with pending from use form status when you're building reusable components that are meant to live inside forms. For example, submit buttons or loading spinners that you'll want to use across different forms in your application. Choose is pending from use action state when you need to keep track of server actions that aren't necessarily related to form submissions. It gives you that extra flexibility. I should mention that the official docs on React as well as Next.js are a bit light on this topic. If you've got more real-world examples of when you would use one over the other, I would love to hear about them in the comment section below. All right, now that you've seen how to create a new product with server actions, next, let's take a look at how to update an existing product using server actions. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.